Welterweight contender Conor Ben, 26 years old, has announced that he has officially been cleared by UCAD in connection to his drug testing saga. Last year, Ben tested positive for a banned substance clomiphene in two separate tests. The second test led to the last-minute cancellation of his pay-per-view fight with Chris Eubank Jr., which was scheduled for October of last year. A few days before the fight, news broke of Ben testing positive for the banned substance. Ultimately, the British Boxing Board of Control prevented the event from going forward. Ben would voluntarily reveal that he tested positive for the same substance in a separate test. Ben's last ring appearance came in April of 2022. In a separate investigation, the British fighter was cleared by the WBC earlier this year. The sanctioning body reinstated him to their official rankings, but would recently remove him due to inactivity. However, he was provisionally suspended by UCAD and investigated by the drug testing agency for several months. The BBBFC would not allow him to box until the UCAD investigation had concluded. Ben hired a team of lawyers and scientists who put together evidence to show that their client was the victim of contamination through food ingestion. Connor Ben wrote an open letter to his fans. Today marks the end of a grueling 10-month process, during which the WBC had already decided that I was innocent of any wrongdoing. After a hearing with the National Anti-Doping Panel and UCAD, I have now been vindicted for a second time. Hopefully the public and various members of the media can now understand why I have maintained my innocence so strongly all the way through. The UCAD process has now formally ended and I remain free to fight. Naturally, I am pleased that I can now put this behind me once and for all. As you can imagine, the last 10 months have weighed heavily on me and I am anxious that if this happens to me, it could potentially happen to anyone, honestly, that's dedicated and clean athlete like me. I would like to thank my fans that have kept the faith when many have turned against me, as well as my team, Matchroom, my friends and family sponsors, and also my legal team, all of whom have shared a belief in me and a commitment to ensure the correct result being obtained and justice being achieved. Only with the strength of all of this support have I been able to continue during this challenging time. I now intend to put this matter behind me and look forward, which begins with fighting as soon as possible so I can remind everyone who I am. All right, guys, well, let us know what you guys think. Uh, I'm not sure if Connor has a boxing license in the UK or did he, does he have to reapply for it? We're not sure. Let us know in the comments below, but who do you think Connor Ben should fight next? All right, let us know in the comments below. Take care. Thanks Robert. from J and C of Sportbox TV. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the vid. Let's effing go.